Okay, so obviously I have the Apple Vision Pro. I've had it for a few days now. And for a $4,000 price tag, I'm still kind of questioning, what is this for? So today that's what I'm gonna find out. I'm gonna find out if one, this will help me in my day-to-day -day life, and two, will society accept me for wearing this in public? All right, so the first thing on the list for today, I gotta go to work. I'm not a full-time creator, so I got a full-time job, but that's perfect because we could see if this will help me out over at the office. Plus, I could give my coworkers a try and see what they think of the headset. Ugh. All right. We're not wearing this while driving. Not only is it illegal, but I spent $4,000 on this headset, so I'm not trying to pay more money for a ticket. All right, so the whole goal of this experiment is to just go through an entire average day, go to work, go to the gym, go to the grocery store, literally anything that I do on a day-to-day -day basis. The only difference is, is that I'll be wearing the Apple Vision Pro to see if it'll actually help me in any of those activities. But I guess we'll see. For those who are new here, I work for a YouTuber as my full-time job. I'm a videographer, an editor, social media manager, podcast co-host. The job description kind of just gets longer over time. Typically, I work on a PC, but since I'm wearing Vision Pro today, I figured I'd use my MacBook to fit in with the Apple ecosystem. Also, the Vision Pro battery only lasts a couple hours, so I want to keep it plugged in as much as possible today. It's a whole new definition of wired in. To get the workday started, I connected to my MacBook because this lets me use the Vision Pro as my monitor instead of using the actual laptop screen. And then I can pull up other windows as well, pretty much turning my MacBook into a multi-monitor setup. From an outsider perspective though, I look like a freaking crazy person. For them, it looks like I'm not working, but in reality, I am working by a lake. I got YouTube, I got Notion, I got my MacBook screen right here. It's crazy. I'm able to get work done at the same pace as I normally do, and using it to edit is great just because I'm able to give myself a larger screen. Oh, and bathroom breaks are next level. Inhale fresh air. Exhale release. All right, I got a pretty good amount of work done, but I figured it's 12.30, let's go get some lunch. So right now I'm outside of a Chipotle and I'm not gonna lie, kind of terrified. Mainly because I don't know what people will think of me wearing this headset, but gotta do it for the content. So let's get it. This is for science. Walking inside, I felt like I looked like a complete idiot, but honestly, no one cared. The lady that took my order looked at me like I was completely normal. I mean, sure, I had a couple of looks, but they were more like curiosity looks. So, can I take a picture with you? For sure. Can I get you my blog? Yes. That is so dope. You said you're a blog? I make uh, YouTube and TikToks. Why don't you look at your TikTok? Oh, oh my god. Pause <laughs> <laughs> I guess. That's good. Hey, how we going, bro? All right, we secured the bag. In conclusion, no one cared at all. I don't know, that was definitely different than what I expected, but let's head back to the office, get our work done, and then once we're done with work, we're gonna go to the gym. By the time I got back to the office, my coworkers were around, so before I ate, I wanted to let them give the Vision Pro a try and see what they think. Dude, this is so cool, <laughs> man. I love it. <laughs> I'm watching Tap Lasso right now. So you're gonna get one? I, I want to. <laughs> Once the fun was over, I ate my lunch feeling like a true iPad kid. Unless I'm out with friends, I feel like I always have to watch something when I eat, so being able to watch YouTube videos on here, it's pretty nice. So far, the Vision Pro has been fairly useful, and in my opinion, the public reaction has been pretty positive. But we'll see what people at the gym think. All right, so I'm here at the gym and it's low-key kind of packed. I'm tweeting for my boy Johnny to show up. We're gonna hit a back day together, but let's see if the Vision Pro can help me with my workouts. Everybody? <laughs> How are you? Thank you, that was good. good. That was a good one. You wanna try the headset? Yeah, I wanna try it. <laughs> Whoa. How's it feel? It feels futuristic. <laughs> Bro, this is crazy. It's like a game. <laughs> Yeah, this is just the calibration too. Oh my god. Damn. 
this is crazy. <laughs> so then if you want to scroll, you'll just pinch your finger and then you'll just swipe. Oh, I'm a play Fruit Ninja. Everyone else watched movies and you pulled up Fruit Ninja. <laughs> <laughs> this is what matters, bro. This is it right here. Alright, we got to get a workout in. <laughs> we do. Alright, okay, okay, let's go. <laughs> I'll try my best. Of course. <laughs> of course. You know, I can't believe we're doing this. Oh, that pull down's open. Let's go. Using Vision Pro at the gym was definitely interesting. Just like at Chipotle earlier, people didn't seem to care that much. I mean, yeah, I had some people come up for pictures, but other than that, everything else seemed pretty normal. What's cool is I could use the Vision Pro to have my workout just floating in front of me and check it off after each exercise. But also you could just make a list in your notes app on your phone. It's the thought that counts. But what you can't do on your phone is work out in Yosemite, go for a jog on the moon, or have a YouTube video float in front of you. Overall, I give the Vision Pro Gym session an 8 out of 10. All right, I'll catch you later, dog. Yeah, baby. See you next time. I don't want to sit here and tell you guys that I'm going to be super productive when I get home because, to be honest, I hopped on my couch and started scrolling through social media instead. TikTok. While the Vision Pro has kind of boosted my productivity today, it's also now fueling my procrastination. And I ended up spending a couple hours on this couch. Like, until it got dark. But then, realization hit. And it was time to get stuff done. I gotta say, doing chores while wearing the Vision Pro was pretty nice. I usually leave my phone somewhere else while I'm cleaning, but with the headset, I won't miss any of my text messages, and I can also just bring entertainment around with me the whole time. I felt like Tony Stark if he was a cleaner. Okay, Ugh. chores are done. I just let the headset charge for a little bit and it's late, but there's still one more place we need to go. Using the Vision Pro at the grocery store kind of felt like the same way I used it at the gym. Pretty much just carrying a list around, like actually carrying it and bringing it with me and checking things off as I go. Also, I didn't feel too weird wearing this in public, but that's probably because it was late and the store wasn't that busy. The last thing I want to do is cook dinner, so we're not doing that. The good news is I can confirm that the Chick-fil-A app definitely works in the Vision Pro. As the day comes to a close, I want to revisit the question of does the Vision Pro genuinely enhance daily life? Kind of. I mean, on one hand, it's great for editing videos, photos, or remote work in general. And on the other hand, I felt like I was just making a bunch of checklists and to-do lists. So I guess I'm still trying to determine. And don't get me wrong, this thing is absolutely incredible for things like entertainment. The fact that I can have a theater-sized TV in my bathtub is insane. But I think we're just gonna have to give this product more time to develop. I'm very excited to see the improvements to come in the future. Oh, and what about society's reaction to wearing this in public? Well, honestly, in the wise words of Bane, No one cared who I was till I put on the mask. 